In our continuing episodes relative to the appearance of man in the fossil record, we now come to Homo habilis, handyman, first discovered and termed the old Duvai hominid in 1964. This fossil bed that was discovered produced human fossils. I mean, fully human in profile, but at the same time produced other fossils that were distinctively ape-like, and they were put together to suggest this incredible creature with a face very similar to that of our cousins, with hair, yes, but the ability as the handyman to use tools and the ability to fully walk upright, a bit hairy, but the feet were normal in profile like yours and mine. So what are the real facts regarding Homo habilis? It was later discovered that the archaic human fossils discovered at the site really were human, totally human. But that the archaic ape fossils discovered at the site, the lower primate fossils, were fully simian. The two did not belong together. It is quite normal and quite contemporary for man to run around with other creatures or other creatures to follow and mimic man. That is a part of the design and profile and mirrored distinctives of the creation model itself. So here we find what actually turned out to be a phantom taxon, no existence at all, throwing together human fossils and ape fossils, supposing that they belong together. Therefore, as we illustrate at the Creation Evidence Museum, each of these progressions to modern human in the evolutionary mind has certain fossils. There is no white area behind this Homo habilis handyman at all because there are no fossils to support it. All the fossils are either truly human or truly ape. Thus, we've crossed out every single link leading to man. We've crossed out the Tang child. We've crossed out Lucy. Uh, Ramapithecus. We've crossed out the Nebraska man, and now we cross out Homo habilis. It appears that the scholars were right when they said there are no actual fossils directly antecedent to man. Man appears full-blown. The apes didn't produce him.